So now all I'm going to do is take my finger and I'm going to roll it through. I'm just going to roll it through the back of the print. So I'm just going to press a little pressure and there it goes. You see? There's the first one. Just popped right off. You don't have to rub it. You don't have to tap it. Put your finger right before it and then just roll it along. There we go. That one came off. There we go. There's another one. So I just picked up this Elegoo Mars printer and I am completely struggling with it. I don't know why it does not want to adhere to the print bed. But the point of this video is to show you how to easily remove the failed print from the FEP film. At least I think that's what it's called. Anyhow, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to pour the resin that I did not use back into the bottle through the filter. This is the third time I've tried this printer. I thought maybe I didn't have it leveled, so I re-leveled it. I thought maybe I didn't have the light exposure correct, so I added time to each layer being exposed and still didn't work. Super frustrating because it takes forever before you even find out that it failed. So here we go, all right. Now this stuff is real smelly. I made the mistake of taking this thing into the bathroom and I washed it out in the sink and it just made the house reek. So don't do that unless you want to make your wife mad. Okay, so this is it. It's not supposed to be stuck on there. I was printing these little caps for this invention that I'm working on. These little circles are supposed to be on this build plate, and that didn't happen. So, yeah, I'm sad about that. All right, let's get this rinsed out. I'm gonna pour just a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Let's get you close in on this. Pour a little bit of rubbing alcohol in there, and that'll help dissolve all the, uh, all the unused resin. Now this is actually the most success I've seen from this printer so far. I've never gotten a, a layer that uh, that thick. So you see some of the layers are really thin down below. You don't want to pry it with uh, any metal object or with a needle or anything like that. Alright, I'm going to go dump this out, out in a well ventilated area. I don't want this in my garage, so I'll be right back. All right, so I've dumped out the extra resin back into the bottle through that filter. And then now I've poured in a little bit of rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna clean it out as much as possible. I don't want any excess resin left in my vat. Okay, so you can see that we have six rings on there. Varying thickness. For some reason, this side didn't adhere as much as this side, but it's not even supposed to be adhered. So it looks like it started on there, but eventually it, it fell off. So, anyhow, here's what I do. All right, I have this little inexpensive nail light. I got it on Amazon, it was nine bucks. I just turned it on. There's my UV light. Now, what I'm going to do is just hold it to the bottom to help cure it all. Just wait there for a few seconds. Get the other side too, might as well. All right. So now all I'm going to do is take my finger and I'm going to roll it through. I'm just going to roll it through the back of the print. So I'm just going to press a little pressure and there it goes. You see? There's the first one. 
just popped right off. You don't have to rub it, you don't have to tap it. Put your finger right before it, and then just roll it along. There we go, that one came off. There we go. There's another one. Let's do these bigger ones here. Finger right before. Well, it looks like I made a little lens. A little resin lens there. I wonder if I could use it for any any kind of picture animation. All right. Okay, so we're getting closer. We haven't quite figured out what on earth uh, is going wrong here. If you have one of these printers and you know what's wrong, please leave a comment so that I can stop uh, making failed prints. Anyhow, that's how you get it off your FEP.